Okay, suppose uh, we want to calculate the labor force participation rate in an economy uh, where the following data has been collected regarding the labor market. Okay, so in this economy, the number of people who are unemployed is 9 million. Uh, the number of people who are employed is 201 million. The number of discouraged workers is 15 million. And the entire adult population is 300 million. So we want to use this information to figure out the labor force participation rate, right? So the labor force participation rate, remember, and we have LFPR, labor force participation rate, right? Uh, it's equal to the size of the labor force relative to the entire adult working age population, right? So the labor force divided by the population, adult population, working age population. Um, and we're not given the labor force explicitly over here in this data, but we could figure it out, right? Because we know that the size of the labor force is equal to the number of people who are unemployed plus the number of people who are employed, right? That is the labor force. So we can write that the labor force participation rate equals uh, the number of people unemployed plus the number of people employed uh, as, a, as a ratio of the entire adult population, right? Okay, so we know that in millions, and the, the millions will cancel each other out anyway, so it's 9 million people who are unemployed, 201 million people who are employed, and then uh, the entire adult population is 300, so we have 210 divided by 300, in percentage terms, that's going to be 70%. So in this economy, the labor force participation rate would be 70%. 70% of the adult population is either unemployed or employed. They're involved in, 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 in part of the labor force. All right? Okay, thank you for watching. <clears throat>